morning guys hope you're having an amazing day it is ping here from mexico today we are in a city known as los mochis which is in the province of sinaloa this city has so much food there's actually not that much to see there's actually not that much to do but it's a food city there's no doubt about it honestly every city in mexico is a food city and there's a lot of local things that we haven't seen in other parts of Mexico that are local to Sinaloa and Los Mochis. So we're gonna try all those foods out today on this food tour of Los Mochis and I'm so excited because I am hungry. So let's start eating. Well, we've started our day off right here at a really local place known as Birria La Teiba. It is supposed to serve one of the best birrias, which is really, really common here in Los Mochis. It's supposed to be something really, really popular. And I mean, just look at this soup. It looks so amazing. Of course, there's a couple things we need to do. First, we gotta get our lemon. We gotta squeeze some lemon on top. Oh, look at that, that looks amazing. And we're just gonna try it out just like that first, just the soup by itself. Oh. That has got to be one of the best beef soups ever. You taste a little bit of like the flavor of like the onions and the chilies and everything, but the main thing you're tasting is beef. And literally there is a layer of just beef fat on top just floating because of how long this beef has been cooking inside oh my god that is absolutely exceptional all right now of course we gotta try the beef itself i mean look at how tender that is it literally is like falling off the spoon right now i'm not even touching it and it's just breaking apart by itself let's go ahead and try this out I don't think you need to chew that. That is just melts in your mouth. It just disintegrates. Like you can use your tongue and just chew down on it with your tongue and it just disappears. That has got to be the most tender piece of beef. And the best part is that they've got that mix. They've got some fat, they've got some tendon, they've got some of that lean meat. So everything combined, oh, that is, that is too good to be true. All right, of course, we got some salsa here. She said it was very, very spicy, but of course I love my spice. So we're gonna mix that in a little bit. All right, gonna give it a bit of a try. Oh, <laughs> she wasn't joking. That is spicy. Oh, it definitely hits you at the back of the throat. When it enters, it doesn't really hurt that much, but it really hits you back here in the throat. Oh, I can even feel like the steam coming out of my ears right now because that salsa is really, really spicy. The salsa goes so well with the soup because you need that spiciness to cancel out all that fattiness and flavor and grease from the beef soup, from the beef fat. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. Now, of course, we've also got some tortillas and she said that she put some chicharron, which you can see on it right now. We're gonna dip this into the soup. Oh, I have very high expectations for what's about to come. All right. We're also gonna try and maybe put a little put, bit of beef on here. Oh, look at this. Look at the beef just falling right out. Oh my God, I gotta eat this. You can't beat that. You've already got spicy chicharron which is already amazing on its own. And then you add probably the most flavorful beef soup with tender melt in your mouth beef just sprayed all over the soup. That's just amazing. You, you've got to try this out. This is really, really exceptional. The soup, I can't stress how good this soup is. The flavor behind it, it's just, it's like liquid beef just melted down and you know there's no preservatives there's no nothing this is just a home run family restaurant making birria and every local comes here to eat it because it is just so delicious so of course when you're here in Los Pochis gotta come and try this place I absolutely love it and I'm about to devour this 
that has got to be without a doubt one of the best beef soups in my life that was just so good the salsa it's so spicy it's good but the beef flavor it's amazing and at the front of the store you can see them prepping it you can literally see the beef just falling off the bone it, like the bone is by itself and then the beef is just to the side birria is a really common food here in Sinaloa especially here in Los Mochis you go along the streets everyone's selling birria but that place I mean, it's packed. It's so popular. People are coming in, coming out, getting food. So it's just a place you've got to come to when you're here in Los Mochis. But let's try and see if we can get anything else to eat. Well, to get something sweet, we went to a really big sweet shop. It's massive. It's called Dulceria El Girasol and they're supposed to sell like sweets and stuff like that. Now we've gotten something known as, as an oblea which is supposed to be really really common here in Mexico. It's sort of like a wafer and they've got caramel on the inside. It looks really good. Let's try it out. Hmm. The surprising thing is that it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I thought it would just be completely filled with caramel and therefore just completely just sweet and overpoweringly sweet but that's actually really light it's not that sweet at all I don't think that's bad at all and it's really really like sticky and gooey almost on the inside it's almost like chocolate instead of caramel but yeah that's a that's a pretty good option to get if you want the caramel's nice it's not over sweet and it's the perfect sort of sweet ending to any meal here in Los Mochis We've just come to the plaza of the 27th September to try out this thing which I saw a lot of people getting. There's this little stall that sells a lot of coconut related things and obviously today's a really hot day here in Los Pochis so I need to get some cool refreshing coconut related stuff. And I asked them what the most popular thing was because a lot of people were going to that stall and apparently it's this right here. This is a horchata with coconut. So if you remember when we were in Monterrey, we did try out horchata, which is like this rice sweet drink. But what they do here is that they put coconut and coconut water inside it. So it's not only going to be sweet, but it's now going to be more refreshing with that coconut taste. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mmm, that's absolutely amazing. The sweetness from the horchata is already really good. It's like a natural rice sweetness. But then that coconut skin, it's so slippery, it's so smooth, you know. And they've cut it into these little chunks and put it inside the horchata. They almost look like little jellies within the drink itself. So the coconut actually helps to improve the texture of the horchata. It adds a new textural dimension to it. Of course, you've got a little bit of that fresh coconut flavor, which I absolutely love in an horchata. But this is so delicious. For 20 pesos, you get a small cup of horchata with coconut. And so far in Mexico, this is the only place that has combined the two together. What a genius idea. As you're walking through Los Mochis, one thing that you'll definitely find everywhere is roasted chicken. It's one of the most popular things you can eat here and everybody eats it. Not only here, but also all around Mexico as well. And we've come to a place, it's called Pollo Funiero, and they make some of the best chicken. I mean, look at how roasted this is. This is roasted by wood, so it's been over the oven. And inside, currently seating, there's not a lot of people, but outside, when you're going to take it home or something, that's the most popular. Most people usually take it away, go home and eat it. So this is not actually the most common way of doing it. But I mean, just looking at the pieces of chicken, they look absolutely exceptional. Look at how crispy it is. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna go in and we're gonna give this a bite first. That smoky flavor, it's its just done perfectly. This inside of the chicken itself, it's actually not very juicy. There's a bit of juice, but it's not the juiciest chicken I've had. 
but it's that flavor, that roasted, charred, smoky flavor from being cooked over that wood. You can taste it, you can smell it. The t the, it's just so, so strong, that smoky, smoky flavor. And you can even see that the color on the outside has changed because of how smoky it is. Now, of course, you've got some salad on the side. We, we're not gonna touch that. And you also get some tortillas with it. But obviously, the chicken is the main star and the chicken is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's not very, very juicy inside, but you come here for the flavor of the chicken. The chicken itself, it's not wet. It's not moist on the inside. But that outside, that layer of flavor, that coating, that wood charred grilled flavor, that's what you come for and that is completely worth it. That was a really good chicken. I mean, it's not the best chicken I've ever had in my life. It's not the juiciest chicken, but it's a good roasted chicken. There's no doubt about it. Funny thing is, once I left the restaurant, I went outside and there's literally a line of people ordering the chicken to take away, which I said, it's very common here. People don't actually eat it and they take it away because it's cheaper if you take it away and you can, you know, eat it in the comfort of your own house with a roasted chicken. But um, it's a popular place, even though it doesn't look like that in the video, I have to emphasize, people line up to take it home. They don't eat in the restaurant. So it's a really good, really popular place. Locals all come here and get their roasted chicken. So if you're here in Los Mochis, that is a place you should definitely check out. Okay, I am absolutely stuffed. I cannot eat anymore, so I will see you guys later today when we continue to eat in Los Mochis. Good evening guys and welcome back to the city of Los Mochis. It is dinner time, so let's go get some food. Final meal for the day, we've come to a place known as Tacos Alex and they're like smack dab in the center of the city and they make some pretty delicious tacos. Obviously, gotta get a drink first. I got a traditional drink, Jamaica. You've seen this before, but once again, purple color with a big ice cube inside. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, thank you, gracias. And they just gave me free caramelized onions. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's try out the water first. Mm. Always cool and refreshing. Just so nice to have. Now, I actually only ordered two tacos of carne asada, which is the roasted meat but they gave me two extra ones with beans because they wanted me to try it out so badly. So I'm really, really excited. Here's a little one with beans. They like look really, really small. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salsa on the side and then I'm gonna dip it on and try it. All right, let's go for it. So the thing about the beans is that it, because it's so small, the size is so small. It cooks really quickly. So what they've done is basically turn the tortilla into almost like a chip. It's so, so crispy. The beans inside are nice and soft and fluffy, but that texture on the outside, really, really interesting. Now, of course, the main dish, the main thing I came here for is of course the carne asada tacos and they look amazing. I mean, just look at the amount of meat on it. Now, there's some onions on the side, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some onions, and then, of course, I'm gonna pour some of this salsa over it. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Put some of that lettuce on top. All right, time to give this a try. Mm. I have to say, what they do great here is that each ingredient isn't really very special on its own, but when it comes together, it's perfect. I mean, first off, look at the taco skin here. It's just as crispy as the one with the beans. They've really done a good job with the skin here. They make it super, super crispy. The meat itself is not really juicy, but mixed in with the salsa, with the lettuce, and the caramelized onions, it just becomes absolutely perfect. The salsa adds this flavor, this spice, that 
by the way, it hits you at the back of the throat, not at the front. And it's so good to mix in with the meat and the lettuce. The meat itself is actually really, really smoky, so you get that smoky flavor, which is exactly what you're looking for in a carne asada taco. But it's the combination. Everything just works together. The proportions, the sauce, the onions, you have to put it together for it to work. Each ingredient on its own wouldn't make it so amazing, but when you put everything together, really, really works out well. There's also cucumbers, but I didn't put that in, but absolutely, you can just put everything on top. If you just load it up on the taco, it will be absolutely amazing. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up because this is absolutely delicious. Well, that has got to be an amazing food day. I mean, we started out the day with some delicious birria and now we finished it off with some delicious tacos I mean this city has just so much food to offer and for good reason I mean the food here is really really good the flavors are amazing and a lot of these things are really unique to Los Mochis and Sinaloa like birria is something that is only famous here in Sinaloa so you have to eat it when you're here Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. I'm super excited for the upcoming videos, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.